Good evening. I apologize for being late, but I took a nap and I just woke up. So I am glad I had pre-prepared everything. So all I had to do was just move back into my space. I am Wanda from Wonderfully Made Jewels and it is Thursday, July 1st. And this starts the week of our, or the month, well, 20 days, because my birthday is July 20th. We're going to be having some great specials, some great deals, and some free giveaways. So thank you so much for coming in. Um, again, I am Wanda from Wonderfully Made Jewels. I know you probably haven't seen me in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, laying under air conditioner and a fan. <coughs> and on top of that, um, I just wanted to uh, regroup my inventory and I want to do necklaces tonight. So if you are interested, you see I have my Z pieces on that top shelf back there. And they are, that is four of them. Uh, the four that I have. And those are, um, those are um, jewelry pieces in which they cost $25. So if you know you're going to a wedding, a ball, or just a, a night out on the town those are some beautiful pieces and so from my left to right that is heather it is blue followed by ambitious arlington um i can't ever think of the name of the blue turquoise one and then on the very end is social and so i have one of the heather two ambitious one Arlington, two of the turquoise, and two of the social. So you basically, um, that is the end of the inventory. If you go to our website, you'll see that we are no longer, um, we no longer have Z pieces to buy um, online. Excuse me. If you see something that you like um, in that collection, and I may have it for you. So again, thank you so much for joining in. And this is Necklace Week. And so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to feature a keyword. And so when I ask you to put that word or that emoji or that gif in the comments, um, I'll let you know what, um, what happens when you do that. So I want to go ahead and get started. And I want to feature the necklace that I have on which is a multi-color necklace. And today I brought my notes today. So um, I'm going to be calling the necklaces by their length. And so if it's 14 inch um, being chokers all the way down to the opera length. And so an opera length necklace would be that Arlington necklace because it is tiered, but that bottom tier would be considered the opera length, which is about 36 inches. So um, between 34 and 36 inches. So I'm going to um, let you know about that. But this is the feature necklace and I will show those to you in just a minute. I actually have one on, but I do not have the, uh, um, I don't have everything on because I wanted to feature it today. So I just threw it around my neck so you can see how it blends quickly with just a white tee. Um, you could have something with a collar. And then, of course, this has all those different colors in there. So you don't have to necessarily wear any of the colors um, that are in the necklace up top. You can wear that on the bottom. And I actually have a pair of um, leggings with all of these colors in it right now. I got them from Walmart, I think, for $7.99. They were flowered with a black background, and they have all of these colors. And I think the pink is a little bit dull and not quite neon, but everything else is this color. So the first necklace I'm going to show has a matching bracelet, and this is necklace number, um, this is set number three, I'm sorry. Hey, Claudia, this is set number three, and this is a brown beaded necklace, if you can see that. Um, and I'm sorry I'm not on Wonderfully Made. Um, my tablet uh, needs to be updated, and so I have to update all my apps and all my passwords, and some of my passwords I don't remember. So... Um, this is set number three and this is a brown and the and it has copper and brown color in there And then you have that bling followed by silver on each side and it is equal on each side of the silver bobs um, You also have the bracelet the matching bracelet. It is exactly like the necklace So you can see that design in there and you see the silver you see the brown and then you see the glass beads now this necklace is on the chain and it has a three inch extender so this is so this necklace will go at least to a 24 inch if you would like it to and so i'm going to show you so you could wear it low like this or you could pull it back 
and make it shorter around your neck. And these are your complimentary earrings and they are more of a bronze color than brown. So that would be set number three. Remember everything is $5. Everything is five dollars with a eight. Excuse me, we get eight percent tax. So that would be for this set would be ten dollars and eighty cent, and then your shipping would be five dollars. So fifteen eighty would get you these two pieces in the mail. Um, so that is set number three. If you like that, those of you that um, don't have time to watch but you can go back, remember to share because I'm going to be looking at that. Because again, it's my birthday month, um, it is cancer season. I just happen to be on the very cusp of uh, cancers, so my birthday is July 20th. So I am uh, one day from being a Leo, okay? So necklace number nine is this blue, light blue. A glass necklace and it is what we consider a shorter necklace so the longest would be about 18 inches and you can see the blue cluster I have two of these and this is necklace number nine or n9 that's how we're going to compliment that I mean we're going to comment that and then those are your complimentary earrings and I had this on display as well I saw this necklace in pink um a while back but i have yet to see it come up we are in a new season for paparazzi so that means we're getting new pieces and i did notice they must have heard me when i said we needed red because i saw a lot of red online today so this is necklace number nine and then again you can wear this as short as long as you want to and one thing about the the um, chain link is that you can use that to make it as short or as long as you would like to and then you have that extender on the back so this is necklace number nine All right necklace number 96 is a silver wire necklace and these are your complimentary earrings all necklaces come with complimentary earrings so you you don't necessarily have to buy a second set of earrings unless you would like to but that is um, the complimentary earrings that come with the necklace so in five dollars you get a pair a small earring sometimes small earrings and the necklace and then we have this necklace on a wire chain And it is tear as well. It also has the hammered design. So we have one in this color and one in silver. One in the chrome and one in silver. And it's a very simple necklace. So you have your choker length. This is considered the princess length. And this is the matinee length. So you have 16, excuse me, 14, 16, and 18. <coughs> excuse me, y'all. N96 if you like that Since we're in the vein of silver I'm going to stay With some silver necklaces And I'm going to do short and long necklaces um, As well And I do have a, Quite a bit of both kinds And that particular N96 I have one in the darker color And one in true silver color N29 is another necklace that has a hammered design and those are your complimentary earrings and this is a three-dimensional necklace on a wire so this is n29 and so as you can see you have these discs here these hammered discs and you can pull it as short or as long as you would like to we also had this in rose gold back in the early spring but now we have it in silver n29 and this is, I have two of these, N29, and that is a great necklace because it sits flat on your neck just like this, um, N29. So working in silver, so if you like silver tone necklaces or um, some form of silver tone necklace, that's where I am right now. Right, necklace number eight. These are your, these are the hematite necklaces. This is necklace number eight, and those are your hematite earrings. This is a shorter necklace, about eight, you can extend it to about 18 to 20 inches. It is on a chain link, and that is your design. So you have that same design that are in the earrings in the necklace, and you have a row of those hematite gems going around there. So evenly, if I put this on here evenly, you can pretty much see 
I'm going to pull it back. You can see how it would lay on your neck. And that would be a cute date night necklace or a quick necklace you throw on and you're running to um, a Bible study or women's group or to the movies. All right. So that is necklace number eight. And I have two of those. Necklace number 13 is one of my favorite necklaces. I have one myself. And you can extend it down to 22 inches. It has, it is a solitaire type necklace. And these are your complimentary earrings, if you can see those. I turned my other light off because I didn't want too much light, but um, hopefully you can see those. And then you have this one single solitaire gem on this chain. And again, you can wear this as long or as short as you would like to. You can see that? So that's that one gem sitting in the middle. And it is one of my favorite necklaces. This is the last one. And this is necklace number 13. Necklace number 13. I have one of those. One and done. And that's part of our blockbuster. So they usually are pretty easy to get. And I usually try to order two or three at a time. But that is the last one of that one. All right. Set number four is a two-piece set that has a necklace. Hello to everybody that's here. I see the numbers, but I don't necessarily see the names. But this is a two-piece set. And it is, um, again, a necklace with a matching bracelet and that bracelet could be used as an anklet and this is um set number set number two set number two and you have white complimentary earrings and this is called at the beach so you have these white and it kind of looks like a a fishnet okay so you have the white complimentary earrings and of course you know i have earrings and uh rings that will also match that and then you have a tiered necklace. Let me get it on here. And this tiered necklace can be worn up to a uh, 24 inch. So there's your necklace. And then there is the bracelet. But that is set number two. Set number two with your bracelet or your anklet and the necklace. And it is white. It has clear and it has translucent beads. So that is set number two. Set number two, when it's a set, we we, comp, we um, comment S2 because it comes with the bracelet. Um, I don't separate the necklace and the bracelet unless it is my last, um, unless I have more bracelets. So that is a combined set. All right, so now I have a few silver that have a little color in them. Uh, this is one necklace I really like as well. Um, and I have two of these. This is necklace number 99. And this is what we call the Lariat length, which is super, super long. It is over 33 inches long. And it has, this is a blue necklace. So it's kind of, it might be hard to see the blue once I put the earrings up. But those earrings, you can see a little bit of the blue as I pull. But it is a darker blue. It is on a chain link necklace and it is a very long necklace. So, yeah. And if you look at the fashion tab on Instagram or you just go to the paparazzi Instagram, you will see that this has become a trend to wear long necklaces with whatever you have on. Um, going back to a 70s style. So this is a super long necklace. And of course, you can double those necklaces up because they have the chain link. I've shown you that um, earlier as I was doing necklaces that you can actually double the necklace and make it shorter if you would like to. So um, don't underestimate the fact that it's long that you can't make it shorter. And if it has a chain link, you really can make it shorter. Okay, so this is the necklace and I'm going to pull it back so you can see the medallion. And I have two of these and it is a simple circle medallion on a very light chain and this has blue accents hopefully you can see that it has the blue accents in there and that particular blue is what we call the navy blue but i have two of these and this is necklace number 99. necklace number 99 can be matched with bracelet number 20. 
which is, I have two of necklace number 99 if you're interested. And then I have bracelet number 20. I have two, if not three of these. I think someone bought this last week. But this is bracelet number two, and it has that exact, exact same blue color in there as well. It's a very pretty, dainty bracelet. And the bracelet is also has an extender as well. So most of the bracelets fit about seven, seven inch uh, wrist. And so you do have an extender that will probably take you to nine. So this is bracelet number 20 with a silver and blue accent as well in those round discs. So the round will go together and it's the same blue. All right. So I'm going to show you a few gold pieces. I don't have many gold necklaces. They can't, they tend to go fast or um, it's not something that I quickly gravitate to when it comes to your necklaces. I kind of try to pick color. Everybody says, Wanda, we, you need color. All right, N2. This is the last of this necklace, of these necklaces. And this is the beautiful um, translucent earrings. And they are very small on the fish hook. And those same designs can be found in the necklace. And the necklace is a tiered necklace. So you have pretty much the same length um, when I say 14, 16, 18. So it is a short necklace, but you do have the hematite design. You have, hold on, let me get the tiers straightened out first. And then you can see your tiers. So when you put that on, you have one, well, this is four tiers. So you have one row of nothing but those particular beads that are in your earring and then you have link chains with those scattered throughout and that is necklace number two and you missed that because it had matching bracelets last week as well so in two in two all right another gold necklace is necklace number 97 and here are the complimentary earrings, and they are round on a fish hook, and they are um, pretty good size, a medium size. And then you have a chain link and extender, a two inch extender. And this is how that necklace would fall on your neck. Necklace number 97, necklace 97. Really cute, round um, necklace. Okay, necklace number 97. I have one of those, and then I have another one similar to that. It's called Spellbind. And it is much longer. And it is necklace number 12. Okay. So here are your complimentary earrings, and they are more of an oval shape. This runs to about um, 28 inches, 28 to 30 inches, and you do have an extender, a two inch extender, and you have a double chain because you do have these different uh, shapes and they create a Y shape. So when you wear this, like for example, this deep V, um, t-shirt that I have on it would actually fall as a Y in the middle of my chest so this is necklace number 12 if you like that and that is in gold okay necklace number 12 I do have one more gold and it is still packaged because well a couple more gold Remember, I have the scarf. I wore that the other week in gold. And that is the necklace that it is a long necklace that you can wear any design. You can tie it. You can use it as a belt. Um, you can wear it as a tie. You can double it up. Go back and look at my video from last Thursday and you'll see me with that necklace on. But any of those, I have that in silver and chrome and i'll show that to you in uh chrome in just a minute but i do have another 
gold necklace, a short gold necklace. I can put my hand on it quickly. Y'all hear the rattling of the paper? And that is because what I do is I only show one of the necklace, but I have not been featuring necklaces too much. So what I've done is kept them in the case. So for some reason, I don't see it right now, but as I go through my necklaces and I run across it or whatever, I will pull it out. All right. So I'll go back to that one once I get through that. I have them separated by short and long necklaces. Okay. All right. Set number. This is not a set anymore. Necklace number 10 is a CB necklace. I also have this in blue as well. So if you want it in blue, um, say so. I also have it in blue. I'll show both of them to you. But necklace, necklace 10 CBs. And you can say I want it in orange or I want it in blue. Um, but these are on a silver chain, about 22 inches long with the extender. You have complimentary orange earrings on this one. And you have three color of sea beads. You have orange, khaki, and a silver uh, bead as well. And that is necklace number 10. And that's the one in orange. That's a one and done. And Necklace number 10 in what I call periwinkle blue. Hold on, let me straighten the earrings out real quick. They kind of, those earrings are in here so tight, I have to shake them. And you have your periwinkle earrings. So they're all a mixture of blue and purple. And then you have colors of the sea. So you have your aqua, your silver, and your periwinkle on that one. This one has a bracelet i do have a bracelet that will match that as well but necklace number 10 in blue or necklace number 10 in orange i have one of each necklace and one bracelet in blue all right another c bead c beads are really small beads and they are really cute you can wear them as they are or you can double them if the length allows now this is a, a single length, so most of these come in tiered, but this particular red one is in one length. This is necklace number 36, and those are your complimentary earrings. And they are a oval shape, a long oblong shape on a fish hook. This is your necklace support because you have these beautiful cascading beads in Hold on. In red. And this is the necklace. Okay. So if you have a smaller neck than mine, of course, what you can do is double that and make one choker length, which is about 14 inches, and then a second one if you like. So you can double those if you would like to. But that is necklace number 36. That is a seed bead necklace. All right. I have another seed bead. And I'm down to only one color. And this is the twisted seed bead in brown. This is necklace number 19. I have two of these. And this is brown with silver accents. Well, copper with silver accents. And this is necklace number 19. I have two of these. All the silver is gone. I just have copper, two of those. Number 19. All right, so that's all of my seed beads. All right, so I'm gonna move into some more longer necklaces. So I have a set of these necklaces here. And they're number 38, necklace number 38. And they come in a plethora of colors. So this is a pink one. It has those pink complimentary earrings. 
And that was my goal to wear that one today, and I did not. My black one, but I do have it in black. And this necklace is tiered, so you have a ribbon neck piece, so you can tie it as short or as long as you would like to. And then you have a cascading set of row of beads. So you see the pink beads throughout. Um, and then you can wear this depending on how you pull your ribbon, how long or short that you like it. Now, this is also, because it is nearly 36 inches, what you could do is you could use this as a um, belt as well, okay? So imagine that as your belt, and I'll show you the way it would look going across the front of your waist if, you are, um, if your waist is greater than 36 inches. But if it's less than that, you would just loop the ribbon throughout your um, jeans or skirt. And then this is the way it would hang on in the front of your um, jeans or skirt or, or your t-shirt dress if you just want to wrap it around. But that is can be considered as a belt as well. So I have that in pink. That is in pink. And all of these are necklace number 38. So you're going to say necklace number 38. And you're going to say um, necklace number 38, pink. Um, necklace number 38, purple. How pretty is the purple? And there's your purple ribbon. And, and I think I've displayed this one and it's been shorter. So here's your purple beads as well and I think that was the feature on wonderfully made today I have it in ivory which is um, a, almost a white color I have it in ivory so if you had a pair of color jeans you could put that as your belt those are your earrings and then that's it in white Um, I also have it in brown, this brown, in 38 in brown, and I love the brown. And I love the brown because of the earrings. Those are the earrings, and that, of course, is your brown ribbon. And then those are your beads in brown, okay? Well, let's see if I could put my hand on a black one. I do have a black one, but it is not open. Um, so I have two brown, two black. Yeah, my black is not open, but those are your beads for the black. Almost a deep charcoal color. And then there are your beads as well. I have two black, two brown. Um, I think one that's the last of the pink and then I have one purple and two white so that is in 38 you can get that in brown black ivory or white pink and purple but those are some of my favorite long necklaces all right necklace number 34 I have two of these and this is called disco something I call it disco uh, it may not be the name but you'll see in a minute necklace number 34 those are your earrings and this is a necklace that I have in white and you can double this because of its length and I'm gonna put it on double so you have these beautiful black translucent beads and you can wear this double as well this looks really good with just a t-shirt and a um, pair of jeans or skirt but this is necklace number 34 in black I have two of those all the white is gone and I when I send these out to you I keep them in their original well keep them in a um, a necklace uh, wrap because you need to do that as well especially if it's long and it has a thin 
chains like these, you really need to do that so they don't tangle. You don't want them to tangle and then you have a hard time putting them on, all right? So moving into my scarf, remember I said I have this in silver. I also have this in uh, the uh, uh, chrome. So this is necklace number 13, necklace number 13. And this is what it looks like when you get it packaged. Those are your complimentary earrings. So your complimentary earrings are the same color as the chain. And then this is the chain, and then you have the tassels at the bottom. So, as I have demonstrated before, you can use this as a belt. Or you can take this necklace and you can put it around your neck and wear it straight like that. You can double it and bring it around. And you have... You know, basically it looks like a rope necklace. Um, you can also take this and you can tie it up top. More like a tie if you had a button down shirt on. This is necklace number 13 in silver. I also have one in gold and one in chrome. And then what you can do is bring that same knot down lower. So you could tie it down lower and move back a little bit. You can tie it down lower and y'all excuse my shirt. I ordered these shirts and they said order two sizes up. Look. <laughs> so, um, but I love that website, Pretty Little Things. It's great for plus size women and it keeps you cute too. So you can put it in a knot and just let it hang like that. So there's a versatility, but those of you that have smaller waist, I I see this as a beautiful, um, I see this as a beautiful um, belt. Okay, so that is necklace number thirteen, and again it comes in chrome and it comes in silver. Okay. All right, so I did find my other gold necklace. How about that? And it is a small petite gold necklace so we'll go back to gold real quick before I go into some other things I know it's quiet today and I realize it is the first of the month so people are busy I went out today um, about 10 just trying to get to the store before everybody else did and undoubtedly 1005 the place where I got my nails done was open super early because I knew the holiday was coming up but my nails look so bad. I didn't get try to get them done for the holiday. They just grow so fast. So this, um, we're going to call this necklace number um, 100. And this is the complimentary earrings. You have the gold with that white solitaire small um, necklace. And then you have a cluster of those same designs in this necklace. Now this necklace can be extended probably to about 24 to 26 inches and then this is your cluster. Let me get it on there so you can see it. And I'm going to pull it shorter so you can see the true design in it. Hopefully it's not taking up the light is not pulling it out but you have a cluster of those gems separated by two of those gems. So you have that all the way pretty much three-fourths of the necklace. But that is necklace 100 in gold. All right, so we've been on here about um, 45 minutes. I try not to take up too much of your time, but I do have a lot of necklaces. Um, and I encourage you all to buy necklaces because what happens is I'll have one on and it'll be the one and done. And somebody will be like, for real, Wanda? Yep, for real. So the necklace that I have on is necklace number 30. And I have three of these. And this is a multicolor necklace. Love it, love it, love it. I did have a bracelet that would easily match it. And it, um, it left before the necklace. But... This is a necklace number 30 that I have on, and I have three of those if you like it. 
all right? So some of these don't have a number. So um, if you hear me repeat a number, that is because um, I have them pre-labeled and then I forgot I had some of these extras. So this is a tiered necklace as well. And it's in black. And you have three tiers in it. This is the one, this, this is one of the necklaces that I would tell you, please, please, please keep it in the in the uh, case that I send it in so that you don't get it tangled. So I love this necklace because you have, this is truly the newest style that is out. The first time I seen the, these type of necklaces coming back was when, um, what was that? Superfly came out and one of the actresses had on a tiered necklace. So this is your complimentary earrings, which is this chain. This is necklace 101, okay? So these are your chain necklaces, I mean earrings. And then you see that you have these three really, really small, thin chains because those are your tiers, but they also have these spacers here, okay? So you'll see that in just a minute. And so you see how that works. Oh, it's so cute to me. So you have your first tier, which is a diamond with the little, you know, design in it, diamond shaped. And then you have this gem in the middle, okay? And then you have a feather at the bottom because you all know we have Aztec type designs. The country, I mean, the uh, company comes out of Utah. So they do a lot of turquoise or Aztec designs. So you have a feather. So that is in black. And believe it or not, I have rings that would actually match this exact gem. But this is this necklace, and this is how it would look on your neck. Necklace number 101. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so let's go to our chunky necklaces. That means they have a chunk on them, and they are um, those you, of course, can wear with a, um, let me take this off. You can wear them with a beaded, um, with a, with a t-shirt or a work suit, okay? So they are very versatile when it comes to that, all right? So... The first one is a turquoise beaded necklace. And you have, those are your complimentary earrings. And it has this cute, this is probably about 18 to 20 inches with extender, maybe 22. And then it has those same beads that are in the earrings. And then it falls into this cute heart shape. And that is necklace number, did I tell y'all the number? I'm sorry, necklace number three necklace number three in turquoise cute 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 and of course you know i have rings and earrings that would uh, extra pair of earrings if you would like to match those but we're focusing on necklaces tonight all right this black and silver so i have several black and silver but this one in, in particular has silver spacers this is necklace number so i've already said necklace number 10 so this is going to be necklace 102. Necklace 102. Those are your complimentary earrings. They are smaller compared to some of the other ones. All right. And then here is your necklace with those silver spacers. And then you have the beads. Many times people are um, leery about wearing bubble necklaces like this. But for me, um, one of the cutest things is to wear these necklaces with this with the neckline where the necklace matches the neckline so if this is going to fall short on me then i would want my neckline to be right there and that kind of helps slims you down and it doesn't make it look like it's all bulky and chunky under your neck but this is necklace 102 and i have two of these necklace 102. okay this is another black and silver, and their earrings are black, but they are a little bit larger than the one on 102. This is necklace 103, and this has more silver and black. So you have your staggered silver and black. So you start off with from the neckline. I would say this is probably about 
um, 24 inches opera length, but you can wear it shorter because remember, um, it all depends on you. It doesn't have much of a um, of a chain on the back with the extender, so it is going to fit long. So this one, of course, I will wear this necklace with this particular t-shirt. So, and I actually um, have this in black, this t-shirt in black as well. So this is silver and black, and you see you have your black kind of space through out. So this most, mostly is silver. So this is necklace number 103, and I have two of those as well. So that could be paired with that. You can put on a red maxi dress and throw this on and look just, you know, look really cute. Necklace 103. You don't have to match black with black and blue with blue and yellow with yellow. You can literally pull it out. Black is a neutral color, so is brown. All right, necklace number 58 is also one of my favorite. It is um, three-dimensional, so you have a diamond design inside of the actual pieces on the necklace. So the, those are your earrings. Here's your chain, and then it is double because it is tiered. And then you have an extender. Again, this is necklace number 58. And watch. That is cute, cute, cute. And so you have that diamond design inside of that. And this, again, is another necklace that is clunky that you may not want it as close to your neck. So you find a neckline where it would fall exactly on there. And being that this has a design, you want to wear something solid with it. Okay? So that is necklace number 58. Well, I would wear something solid with it. So the necklace designs can pop. All right, necklace number 44. I have two of these. Oh, and the black that I just showed you, 58, I have three of those. Necklace number 44 is a pink glass. It's fuchsia and pink, so you have glass pink um, earrings on a chain, and you do have an extender, and I have this pulled in I use one of the links to make it shorter so you can see what it looks like. It is also tiered and you have a combination of fuchsia, translucent pink and um, glass pink on a silver chain. And you notice that all I did was just take the lobster hook and I went a little bit further with the chain so it could look shorter on this piece. But of course you can wear it as long as you would like to. So that is necklace number 44. It is pink, fuchsia, and then you have a pale pink, a glass pink, and a fuchsia pink. Thank you to everyone that is on and still here. I appreciate you. All right. Necklace number eight, if you like brown and khakis. Necklace number eight, this is a deeper brown earring and then this is a small single beaded necklace and it has an ombre so you have let me get it on here so you can see it all hold on y'all so you have an ombre so you start off with your light and then it gets lighter and then you have a silver that is separating you from the darker so it goes it graduates to different lengths but that is i probably should have put it on the shorter one so it could lay correctly but that is your brown your khaki and your gold beads and then you have a silver bead separating your light from dark okay and that is necklace number eight so that's in the brown family if you want something brown Okay. Now, 4th of July is coming up, and I am coming to town for uh, on the 3rd, I think. Yeah, because the 4th is on Sunday. And I'm not sure if you celebrate um, Independence Day. But if you're looking for something with red, white, and blue, I definitely, you could use this. This is necklace number 95, and it is on a suede chain. And what I what I showed when I first featured this necklace is it is on a lobster claw and you do have an extender. Those are your earrings. You can go ahead and hook this 
and then tie it because it's not going to create a knot and you can tie it to make it shorter okay so you can see so the medallion is not down there at your belly button and then this is the medallion at the bottom and it is red white and blue and that is necklace number 21 excuse me necklace number 95 necklace number 95 and um i have two of these okay and of course you know we have suede bracelets let me take this N21 off. Because undoubtedly, when I was renumbering my necklaces, I didn't see it on the back, a number on the back. All right. Necklace number 49 is a wood necklace in aqua. I also have a red one. If you want to see the red one, comment below. Necklace number 49. Here are your complimentary earrings. Cute, cute, cute. Um, we had this, this is the last <clears throat> of these. We had this in green and aqua. So this is the last aqua one. And it is tiered as well. I have, I've taken this off for someone that came up to look at some jewelry. So give me a minute to adjust this. It does not have a lobster claw. It has a button closure. Okay. So again, it's tiered. Tiered to make you look longer okay even if you're you know short what we consider short in society okay so that is the tier very simple but very cute statement piece um can you imagine wearing a yellow dress in that color or an orange or a blue or um white and that be your statement piece but that is necklace number 49 and that is the last one of those okay and I have a red one. If I can put my hand on it real quick. Over here with the longer necklaces. The red one is necklace number 18. And it is a little different. Still has the same um, closure. The button closure. I'm trying to straighten out the earrings. Come on. Oh, I apologize for delaying. But these earrings, sometimes I think they're glued in here. But they're on the fish hook. And that hook is long. So that way you can adjust how long or how short you want to wear those earrings. And what I mean by that is when you wear the earrings, um, you know, there's a, there's a hook. And if the closer you are to the hook, the um, shorter they are. So, again, those are your earrings. And then here is your necklace. And it is on a brown rope. And it is just one, one length. Okay. In red. Red and brown. And that's wood. Those are wood necklaces. I also have. This is the last. I have a black one. All black one. And I have a all. And I have this brown and aqua wood necklace now the brown and aqua you see it's still in the case it has the brown um wood beads in between the aqua and then those are your earrings and then i have one that is all black so this is necklace number 104 so if you like necklace number 104 comment if you want the aqua or you want the all black okay um yes this came in red pink aqua and purple but this is all i have left if i'm not mistaken i am holding one for my sister in purple okay so that is necklace one what did i say well y'all can rewind but yeah that's that one all right a different color that we have of necklaces is our bronze and our copper and this is a pretty bronze toggle necklace so these are your complimentary earrings which had that pretty bling, just a simple bling. Now this will look good with something with orange because you see how that that shimmer creates that orange look. Or you could wear it with something olive green. You could wear it with your. Um, remember, brass has yellow, um, orange. I mean, excuse me, yellow and greens in in the actual color of the metal. So any of those colors would work. You could also pull off yellow with it. Yellow, green. And browns 
All right, and then here is your toggle at the bottom with that same gem, and that is necklace number 94. Necklace number 94. All right. Necklace number 96. This is the last one. And I'm going to take it out of this package or its first package. And this is a dressy necklace, but that doesn't mean you have to whatever you consider dress up. Okay, so I would wear this, of course, with a dress or a pair of slacks. But this is a mint green, and those are your earrings. And here is your necklace. Let me get that on here. And you have tears as well, and you have the um, solid, then you have the glass, and then it's separated by this spacer, this silver spacer. And so what I like about this is I, I kind of, this one is kind of wider than you get the beads to fall correctly. So you can see, um, bead, I just took it out of the package. It hadn't had time to settle. So seeing how it falls, you see that all of your glass beads fall in the same spot. That's what I was trying to show you. So you have your, your solid, then you have a separator with the glass, and then you have a darker solid and then the glass here in the round. So when you wear that, of course, you're gonna see that design, okay? And it is on a uh, two inch extender, so it doesn't have a long extender, but it does have that strong triple support there, okay? Pretty necklace, that is necklace 106. Necklace 106 in the mint. All right. So again, we do have some one and dones. I still have. I can't remember the name of this one. This is um, 107. And this is the hammered um, rose gold, gold and silver. But necklace 106, rose gold. Um, gold and silver necklace and it has the hammered look and then of course you have the extender um, I have one of these and I do know that I have a pair another pair of gold earrings that have the same hammered design as well as a bracelet so if you like necklace 106 let me know because that would be that would make a great ensemble okay all right, so this one hasn't been taken out of the package because, again, um, many of my um, patrons, and I appreciate all of you all. It's not I'm not upset that you don't like necklaces and everything. I love necklaces, and um, but I do know that majority of you like my like bracelets and in ear, um, earrings, and so I wanted to feature some necklaces a little bit more because I do have over a hundred necklaces, and that's counting if I have multiples as well. But this is a chain, a little small chain necklace as well. It's in gold. And those are your complimentary earrings. And I have that as well. We'll call that number 107. Mm. So many necklaces, so little time. All right, necklace number 23. It's a little different, but I do have a friend that is into African type jewelry, so I know this will go right up her alley. Necklace number 23 has these black earrings, and this kind of reminds me of a necklace Wonder Woman had on when I watched Wonder Woman 1984. I gotta watch it again. I like that movie. Um, Y'all know I think I'm Wonder Woman, right? So this is the bronze, I'm sorry, the brass and it has those black gems in the middle and it is three dimensional on a chain and that is necklace number 23. Okay, so <laughs> if you think about it, this is a warm color and it has the black. 
So you could definitely put that, lay that on something black that you have and that would stand out. You know how they say things are a um, conversation piece? That necklace is a conversation piece, okay? Another brass necklace that I have is necklace number 11. It's one of my favorites to describe. It has the diamond shape and it has those three dimensional shapes. And when you turn one, you got to turn them all. So it lays, oh, it did right tonight. Well, maybe, oh, don't speak too soon. But when you put it on, you have to, once you turn one, you turn the other, but it does lie flat on your neck. And that is necklace number 11. And that is in the brass color. Again, I have um, bracelets that would go with those. So uh, go back and look at some of the reels or bracelets and rings that would complement some of these necklaces. But this is necklace number 11. It's one of my favorite brass necklaces. Um, to display. Um, I thought I had, um, oh, this is another one and done. It fell right out the paper. So it must have said, hey, come get me, Wanda. Necklace number 29. It is a daisy. So it has the flowers. And then I'll show you the daisy design. And again, these pieces lie flat once you put the necklace on. This is necklace number 29, and this is what it would look like on your neck, okay? Necklace number 29, and it is all silver. And it is a short necklace, so you're not going to get no more than maybe 20, 24 inches out of that necklace, all right? Um, another toggle necklace is necklace number... What number is that? I may be repeating this number. I think I am. Necklace number 44. It has a rose design in the necklace. You have a chain link. And then this is at the end of your toggle. Okay. And it is brass as well. And let me pull the toggle back through so you can see what it looks like on the chain. I want to represent it well so if you are into roses or flowers and you think and that brass color again has that olive green tone but there's your toggle there's your chain and then there is the end of the toggle so that's two we have two toggles and that is necklace number 44. And I'm going through my short necklaces, just making sure I'm covering everything. Necklace number 15 is a tiered necklace. Now, I have this myself because it is cute. And yes, I do have rings that would match those. N15, those are your complimentary earrings. And then you have a tiered necklace. It is on a thin chain. Trying to get your pieces to, and I just pulled it out of the paper, but you, you understand what I mean by it can easily tangle. That's why once you take it off, put it back in the paper that I send it in um, because you want to keep it from tangling, okay? So this is tiered as well. Not as long as that black one I showed you. Again, this is necklace number 15. And you have your red. I still end up wrapping around that other one. But you have a shorter, which is about 16 inches here. And it has the red here. And then in the middle, you have a silver disc. And at the bottom, you have a red diamond. And I'm going to fix this because it's driving me crazy it's for you all to see it. And what it is, is just the gem went through the second tier ink. Um, but mine does not tangle because it is um, hanging inside of the paper. And what I did is I took a paper clip, um, that black piece that is inside of your, that holds your necklace and earrings. I took that um, and I paper clipped it um, at the top. So that way it is hanging exactly long like that. So yeah, it did wrap around there and I don't wanna to pull too tightly. 
and but that is necklace number 15 and I do have two of those but it is a cute necklace you can go back and look at the pictures on wonderfully made jewels of any of those reels that I did where I matched a outfit that I found on Pinterest with some of our necklaces so you can see what that looks like and again it is a very cute necklace and let me show it again there's your red you can see the tears and then there's your red your silver and then your other red so now I got it untangled you can see that I think what happened is it's in here I have it turned backwards okay so that is necklace number 15 and that's the way it will look on you with a little hint of red and of course I have plenty of red rings that will go with that and I'm going to put that with my lightweight necklaces so that does not get tangled and put it over here all right and let's see all right so everything else that I see is duplicated I do have a short white white beaded necklace it is just like the pink one in six but it's in white if you like that so i have in six in pink and in white and silver if you like that one it's still in its case because once i sold one i didn't pull the other one out until i could get a bracelet or something else to match it so that is of course i have not finished all my long necklaces but of course for the rest of the week and um up until the 20th or whatever that is what um, I'm going to be featuring first before I go into my earrings and before I go into my bracelets and rings. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you so much for those of you that peeped in, those of you that watched, those of you that stopped by, those of you that decided to share. Thank you so much. Tomorrow, be looking for um, the promotion for tomorrow and all of those things because you blessed me so much since I've been doing paparazzi. I want to bless you. And so every day is going to be an opportunity for you to win something free. So in order to know that you watch this video to the very, very end, the keyword today is ring, R-I-N-G. And so what you would do is at the um, wherever you hear me say this, you're going to send me a emoji or a picture of a ring and that qualifies you for a free ring so please um just type the word i'm sorry just send me a picture just go to your emojis hit a ring and or either type the word ring in and it'll pop up and you just put it in the comments um between now and tuesday when i do my next one and you will be on the list to receive a free ring with whatever you buy if you decide to buy if you don't decide to buy or whatever and i'm in town or um, I will send it to you or you can, um, or you, or you can pick it up from me. But I, again, July 3rd, if you see something on any other reels, let me know. And I will bring it down with me, um, on the third, I will be down there just for that particular day on the third. Um, you guys have a great weekend. If I don't see you, um, between now and Tuesday, I may do a live, uh, tomorrow night. I don't know. Um, and you have a safe holiday weekend. Be safe with those firecrackers. Be safe with, well, fireworks or firecrackers. And then make sure that you spend some quality time with the people that you love. God bless you. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great night.